Hey, bud. How, how long are you going to hang around? Okay. How long are you going to hang around? Well, we don't have a choice. You're leaving now? No, no. They're not letting us leave. Yeah, I know. But they asked us to leave, like, to go uh, in 10 minutes, to go t to walk down to their station. Are, are you going to do that? To their station? I mean, down to their where they're posted, uh, down the block. Well, what are we supposed to do? We, have ten, we had 10 minutes, and now we have about a minute and a half left. Well, I guess I can't. Who, who all left? Nobody. Nobody. Hey, Squeege, okay, I what, what one said. minute left. So what, do, what did you say, Squeege? Did you hear? What? Um, I called Co-op Radio to go live, right? Because we have about seven minutes, you know, before the police move in, right? And uh, as soon as I, as soon as the guy said, okay, you're going live, I'm hooking you into the switchboard. The switchboard, the phone went dead. They yeah. cut the phone off. So yeah. the phone's been cut off by the cops as soon as they heard we were going to go live. <laughs> well, the way I see it. I'm just standing here, and it uh, seems to me that uh, the police are blocking the road, which uh, is against the law. I don't see any laws being broken here by the squatters. There's none that I can comprehend. Uh, seems to me we're already in jail. showdown began. Police moved in on the squatter's main barricade. They're not armed, you... As more than a hundred spectators taunted and cheered. Weapons! Unnecessary Sick force! Sick heart! they were arrested. They went peacefully, still chanting for housing till the end. I think it's about time? Yes, it's about time. What do you think they should do with the squatters? Put them in jail. Find them whatever they're supposed to be doing. Live in free? Why should they live free? I think that houses shouldn't be empty while people, people are homeless. I think uh, all these in, incredibly armed cops to take out some people who are peaceably making a point is not not on. I think uh, I think it's disgusting. It's, it's great to have all these police here, you know, because then at least nobody gets hurt. So now you're happy that they're gone? Yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. It's been a nice story. And it, going by there every day, I was always scared either something would happen or, you know, something happened to one of my kids, they'd get coaxed into one of these places. 
And finally, the barricade that started this whole confrontation was taken down. At about 2 p.m., a front-end loader pushes the barricades aside. They are not booby-trapped as feared. Legally, police are acting on a search warrant to look for weapons. Police search the houses one by one. They were looking for four squatters who were still unaccounted for. They do not worry about doing damage to the properties, which the owner boarded up and left vacant a year ago. Meanwhile, a second machine attacks from the rear. The heavily armed police have been informed that at least three shotguns and two handguns are inside somewhere. They proceed methodically, trying to take no chances. Not surrender. We're going to take the side of the house out with a front end loader. We advise you this could be very dangerous if you're in there. We want you to give up now. The last house of the six is attacked from the front. Is everyone continuing? What the plan is, we will use the loud hailer and try to contact the people in the house. We'll once again advise them to come out so we have a warrant. Again, we will try to contact them. If they still do not come out, we will then apply gas. Even those in the most fortified house, the ones expected to resist, we're simply defiant, not violent. It was all over by four o'clock when the last squatter was taken away. As darkness fell, city crews moved in to clean up the last of the debris left by the squatters. Mei Wong, CBC News, Vancouver. Police arrested 30 people at the scene. Everyone arrested was released within 48 hours. The police action, the largest in 20 years in Vancouver, costing tens of thousands of dollars, resulted in the charging of 13 people with public mischief and with obstruction of a police officer. No weapons were ever found, City Council passed a motion to tear down the houses immediately because it was a public safety hazard, and the progressive councillors who had claimed to be supportive of squatting voted in favour of this demolition. The police action became popularly known as Operation Overkill. A top union leader labelled the SWAT team assassination squads. Even after eight hours at gunpoint, the squatters had not surrendered. They will squat again. This spirit is the beat of Francis Street, and you can still feel it in the streets of Vancouver.